don that helmet, scarf down some protein bars, and shave those legs. That's right, we're learning how to play Flamme Rouge from Stronghold Games. Sorry, French people. This strategic cycle simulator pits two to four racers in an epic competition for two-wheeled glory. Setup begins using a stage card. Today we're setting up the intro track, Avenue Corso Paseo. Using this card as a guide, build the course with the correct letter casing side face up. Next, players select their color and take their player board, a sprinter and a roller model, and energy cards matching their color, split by rider. Players then shuffle their energy cards to form decks, one for each rider, and lastly, the exhaustion cards are placed face up within easy reach of all players. Starting with the player who most recently rode a bike, definitely not me, my bikes have all been stolen, players will place their riders in any free lanes behind the start line. The board is divided by squares and lanes. Each square has two spaces, one on each lane. Play is gonna occur over three phases. We've got the energy phase, the movement phase, and the end phase. In the energy phase, players simultaneously choose one of their riders and draw four cards from that deck. Then you're gonna choose one of those cards and place it face down. And then recycle the remaining cards. Recycling is when you place cards under the deck face up. Later in the game, players will shuffle and flip over the deck once they reach the face-up cards. This is genius, we should always do it, in every game. This process is repeated for the other riders on each team, then we're off to the movement phase. Really good. Is this the bike? <laughs> Starting with the frontmost rider, players move that rider ahead the exact number of squares on the matching card. Five, six, seven. Some movement notes. You can change lanes at no cost, but the right-hand lane is considered in the lead in each square, so it would be silly to not go to the right. Players can pass through other riders. However, if a rider would end movement on a fully occupied square, they cannot pass and stop in the first square with a free lane. In the end phase, remove all played cards from the game. They're all for good! Next, apply the slipstreaming effect. First, identify the packs. Packs are one or more riders that have no empty squares between them. Then if two packs have exactly one empty square between them, the rear pack gains slipstreaming and moves forward to merge into the forward pack. The process repeats for all packs and some riders can gain slipstreaming several times in a round. Finally, if a rider has an empty square in front of them, draw and recycle an exhaustion card into a rider's deck. Exhaustion cards are just like other energy cards, but their value is just two. Play starts over again with a new energy round, and the game continues until somebody hits that finish line. Once you have a few races under your belt, you can try alternate stages, including tiles with mountains. Ascent squares maximize a rider's speed to five and eliminates slipstreaming. Descent squares add a minimum speed of five to a rider's movement. And that's Flamme Rouge. If you want to watch me play this game and other awesome games live, you can check out Game the Game every Wednesday on twitch.tv slash geekandsundry or projectalpha.com. Keep playing games. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir.